Hey, it's Sarah with Loaves and Dishes, and today I'm going to be showing you how to grill hamburgers. Before we get into today's video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload. Okay, so this is pretty simple, and like a lot of these recipes, you can kind of make it however you want. So I add in, I do a pound of ground beef and then a third a pound of pork sausage. Um, and the pork just sort of like adds some extra, I, I don't know, it just does something different to the ground beef and it doesn't taste so ground beefy. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> I added in some salt, some steak sauce, and some Worcestershire and some garlic powder and onion powder. Um, we put garlic powder and onion powder in everything. Now, where you can change things, uh, and I added some dried thyme, is you could add other seasonings if you wanted to. Um, you know, maybe if you wanted them spicy, you could add some cayenne, paprika would be great, any kind of seasoning you can think of. Um, and that was some fish sauce that I put in. And I know that sounds weird, but trust me, if you have some fish sauce, put it in there and it makes it taste great. Um, it just gives it something extra. It's like salty. I, I don't know how to explain it. Fish sauce is magic and we, I put it in a lot of stuff. <laughs> But if you don't have it, you don't have to put it in. That's fine. So I just mixed that up and now I'm forming it into patties. Um, they don't have to be pretty. You do want to make sure that they are um, the same size and you want it to be a little bit thinner in the middle. And that just keeps them from being undercooked in the middle. And you can eat hamburger um, at different temperatures like if I go out to a restaurant and they ask me how I want my hamburger cooked, I always ask for medium rare um, because that's how I like my hamburgers. But um, it's probably safest at home to cook it all the way. Just if you're worried about it, just cook it all the way. It's not going to change the flavor too much, I don't think. Um, anyways, but you do want them to be the same size roughly in the same thickness so that they cook the same. And then I'm just very carefully putting these on the grill. And um, you want to let them cook between three to five minutes per side. And then you want to give them a flip, let them cook for a few more minutes. And you kind of have to be careful because hamburger, depending on what fat ratio you get, there will be less fat or more fat and it can kind of flame up like it was doing on me. So be careful when you're flipping these. And then once you flip them, you can add the cheese and you just close the lid and let them cook for a few more minutes and the cheese will get nice and melty. And um, like Kraft Singles, American cheese melts the best, but you can also put fancy cheese on your burger if you want. Um, and that's a lot of fun to have fancy cheese on your burger. Um, anyways, then you just pull them off the grill and they are ready to eat. Um, you could also put a little butter on your buns and grill those for just a minute or two and it'll get them nice and warm and toasted. If you want to see more recipes, be sure to check out Loaves and Dishes, and thanks for watching.